Hello everybody, and welcome to part 3 of my BrawlFest 2024 haul. I know I said I'd be getting into the boxes, but that was before I realized that I forgot about all this that I was able to uh, pack home in my uh, suitcase with me. So, let's start with this girl here, whom I've been looking for, for legitimately, like, forever. The copy I got the year she came out was so flawed, with, like, black marks everywhere. Horrible overspray. I am so excited to finally have a showable copy of Moondance, because she is just absolutely gorgeous. So... She was actually my very first uh, Briarfest um, purchase at the uh, the Clarion on Wednesday night. And uh, the blue bag that I showed in uh, part one, I believe, yeah, I got that to uh, keep her in, so I had her on my back while I was walking around the Clarion. So this guy here, uh, let me get this... Um, a disc off of him so I can pick him up a little easier. But yep, I ditched the plastic stand before I left and I used this nice metal stand because I don't trust the, uh, the plastic ones to not break in feet. But this is Sorry Not Sorry and I honestly was on the fence about getting this guy but he was still available in the second chance sale, so I could not pass up the chance to get this guy, and I was hoping for the glossy, and I pulled the glossy. I would never mind it the matte, but matte would not have been my first choice. I'm, I'm a glossy kind of gal. Team glossy all the way. He's got the, uh, the stamp on his belly there. He is just absolutely gorgeous. No no pun intended with him being an Appaloosa, but he is really, really pretty. And uh, I forget who makes these stands, but I have a ton of them for my horses like him that have that plastic stand. They are a lifesaver. No longer do I have to worry about having to drill feet out. And this one I also got in the uh, the second chance sale. And this one is I Will Survive. I legitimately thought this was going to be one of the ones that, like, sold out. Because I know people love this mold so much. And Briar doesn't really use it that often. So, I thought for sure I would not stand a chance to get this one. But it is absolutely beautiful. Like, they could have brought the stripes maybe a little bit further down the chest. Like... To her shoulder there or something but she is still absolutely gorgeous and I now have something to show in the exotics class at model horse shows so I'm pretty excited about that so this was uh, I want to say this was a Saturday night or just yeah Saturday I actually this guy at the uh, the swap meet and this guy is actually I'm not sure if he's a test or a sample but um he's got no vin he does not have the uh, the belly stamp of the actual run of champion thoroughbred from the vintage club but he is very nice so no vin no belly stamp he did not come with a stand a tag nothing I forgot to add the lady uh, that I got him from, write a statement for me, but she actually pulled this guy from the, uh, the warehouse finds bin, and I believe she said Briarfest 2018 is when she pulled this guy, so he wasn't really that bad, I mean, a hundred bucks for a, um, a sample slash possible test, uh, not, not the worst thing in the world, so he's really cool. Uh, these are the little animals that I got from the same person I got the hyena squishmallow from. So, I got a little, little chihuahua, a 
red panda. This guy's really cool looking. I, I really like how this looks. So I just love these guys. They're so much fun to use for diorama making. And then there's this little one here. This one's a little Bernese mountain dog. And that's really, really cute. Really well painted. I, I think these are either Schleich or Safari LTD. I'm not 100% sure, but they're, they're very detailed though. And this one even has nice painted blue eyes there. It's a little roughed up, but still super cute. So I got those guys there. Uh, this was my, uh, non, um, equine, um, obtained model for it this year. This is Elsa. Uh, she was a collector club, a lottery model in, I do not know actually. She has a VIN number, but that doesn't help me. I thought she was said down there, but she does not say on her belly, so. But yeah, she was a, um, a collector club, like one of those lottery models. As far as I know, there's only like a thousand of her maids, so that's really, really cool. I actually traded my um, uh, Ashbar for her. Uh, this is one of my surprise horses. I have the Cremello. And actually, a lot of these I, I actually had to do a lot of uh, trading and buying to get. Um, I actually did complete the mat set, so I'll probably do a video of that at the conclusion of my haul uh, series. But here's the other uh, Cremello. And they all have that uh, stamp on them. It's so really cool. And I love that they use the mare version of this mold because they, they really don't have really enough mares. So I was super excited to uh, to obtain the, uh, the full collection, which again, I'll do a video at the very end of all this to show you all of them together. And this is the other model I actually got in the second chance sale on Sunday. This is Edge of Glory, and he has the coolest dappling. Like, he has actual dapples, but if you look, he also has that really cool, like, vintage, like, resist dappling going on. Like, this boy is really cool. I, I don't think they've done that with any other models. He does have a little, a little something right there on his leg, but not terrible. And totally excusable because uh, his dapples just totally make up for it. This guy is just absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm a glossy lover, so had to come home with this boy. <laughs> and then I actually managed to uh, get this uh, Saturday at the uh, the swamp meet. Okay, so that must have been a Friday find. Then yeah, I think I found. I think I found that at test sample on Friday, actually, because Saturday was the social media meet, and I actually had an extra um, Appaloosa surprise horse, so I managed to trade that one for this gorgeous one here, the uh, what they're calling Wild Bay. I'm <laughs> really not sure it could qualify as Bay with that white tail, but it's a really pretty horse nonetheless. I just love this color. And as far as, as far as models go, I actually got this guy um, during the uh, the second chance sale. So I had this guy, and they were uh, trying to uh, <laughs> sell him. So I got this guy for a uh, hundred bucks. I I keep saying guy, but girl. All three of these are girls. Look from below that one and this one. I keep forgetting the 
This is the mirror version. I keep calling it a guy, my bad. Uh, but yeah, these are all really, really pretty. And super crisp, too. Like, the Pinto markings, there is nothing at all going on with these Pinto markings. Like, there's a little tiny bit of blur there, but other than that, these are literally some of the crispest Pinto markings I've seen on a briar in quite some time. So, even down here, really crisp. So, yeah. There's that. And, uh, yeah. The, the, uh, the bay here was actually my last, um, model model purchase of Briarfest um this year so so Moon Dance down there was my first purchase of Briarfest this year and this uh Bay of Aru was my last purchase of Briarfest this year. So yeah that's it for um part three. So I'll see y'all in uh, part four when I actually crack into one of these boxes over here and show you what's inside because I had to mail a lot of my whole home. So, yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in part four. Bye!